okay in this lecture we'll go with the error that was coming in previous one so what we have to change this position to first one so go to the start editor okay go to the load definition where we have provided a seismic load just copy these loads and cut it from here and paste it before any one okay so before this one you have to paste so just and change the number also so it will be in sequence okay this one is third and uh, this one is fourth that was no sorry this one is fourth right so let's check save it and again error was coming above line of syntax error which line load type dead load again error is coming as I am going to load definition again check it from there either ok my dead load is removed from here ok it was not opening from here just close it sometimes error will occur so that was not a deploy we can edit it and change it so here what happened this was a loaded load type to seismic to provide the load third that was dead load tilt dead load okay and this was the floor load and let's check it now see now everything was okay we have to uh, change everything with very careful okay be careful with uh, when you changing this when you are using the editor file okay if there is if there is any language error then software will be occurred syntax error which will we will take time to correct so when you are making changes just be sure that you are doing everything right now it was okay okay so I will go to analyze and again check it so two error was coming let's go and check why error was coming lateral seismic has been applied along y axis okay 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 arrange so on okay okay here this i am given y direction that's why it was saying because in this version if you apply to vertical direction then it will give you error it was not able to do that analysis but in the editor one that was connect edition one if you do the uh, in vertical direction also it will calculate that also but for now so okay you have to change this in z direction x and z direction okay change and uh, provided in okay and we have changed the name also and we applied in z direction y, uh, y direction so we have to change to z direction change close okay go again to analysis run analysis and save 
see error has gone so go to output file okay floor load not forthcoming let's ignore that and okay uh, we have doing it again again that's why it was uh, giving me this option and consecutive okay we have to give one more thing after every seismic load you have to provide the perform analysis and change command okay so every load will be calculated different uh, one by one okay so here go to load one type after that you have to go write it perform analysis this option just double click in this after that change okay yeah, double, double click in this option this option was created just copy it and again give it to next one both in x and z direction so it is applied right now okay so you can go to analysis and then I say now that warning will be removed you will see see one error error gone one warning and so an warning will be only the reanalysis that consecutive analysis okay that was removed nothing was there so just we have to go to load data print analysis load data so seismic load value will be coming we do already applied that let's say in print add close okay, run analysis okay here so through seismic uh, what value is coming is calculated here vb value Take it. so design pressure is coming here so value is being calculated by software all only this value has been total pressure will be created design seismic force will be created 96.92 in x direction okay this was the time in seconds so it was coming 0.99244 so what code has told us to if the building was in seismic zone second and and that uh, and the uh, time uh, it was coming as time period was coming less than 0.4 second then we will go for seismic okay but if it is coming more than 0.4 second and not in system, uh, zone system, uh, zone second and less than 50 uh, greater than 15 meter then we should go for dynamic analysis okay so in next lecture we will see how to apply dynamic analysis in this building okay thank you